Good afternoon, I'm Brian Wiseman. And I'm Zach Gibbs. We're from East Central Community College, Decatur, Mississippi. Uh, today we're showing our recommendations for Wayne's Road Barbecue Palace. Uh, as of right now, they have a corporate office that is, uh, that is connected to DSL between the ISP. Uh, they have future plans for, for two new offices. One's in a suburb, suburban area that has DSL access. The other one right now doesn't have access to cable or DSL. Uh, they have existing PCs that uh, cannot talk to each other right now for the inventory and database. Um, and their plans, they want to interconnect all of this and uh, so that each one can be centrally managed, they can communicate with each other and uh, you know, continue to function as one cohesive network. Our first recommendation is because security is a big issue is Cisco PX501 VPN firewalls router all in one. You can place one at each location and whenever the connection is made to each one of these you can set them up to talk to each other and it'll be like you're just one giant cohesive network while maintaining the virtual private just as if you were hardwired to each other. To do this we need a connection across say the internet. Well for these two it's not a problem because we have DSL available in both areas. So <coughs> we just can connect through the internet and it'll be just a virtual channel. There is a pretty robust channel that you don't have to worry about anybody connecting to, your, to anything. Uh, this other one that doesn't have any access to cable or DSL, we are recommending a point-to-point -point solution. Uh, this is uh, kind of expensive right now, but it does, does the solution. Uh, in the long run, when we do get DSL, you know, we're cable, we can resell this equipment, but right now we're thinking of some kind of Andrews type of, you know, point-to-point -point microwave panels or dishes. I know it's, it's kind of far, but uh, this, will, this will get us our VPN, this will get us on the subnet, this will get us uh, onto our network. Uh, then, you know, we won't have to worry about, about any, any issues that way. On the, on the microwave, anyone can pick up a microwave transmission. So what we're going to be implementing as our recommendation is on that, we're going to be having the Cisco firewall VPNs to be set up to connect as well. But across the microwave, we're going to have IPSEC securing your TCP IP, and we're also going to have encryption running across there. That way, if anybody can pick up the signal, it's <coughs> encrypted and it's relatively hard to Security. decrypt it. Uh, right now, we, uh, we're going to implement 24 port switches. Uh, we have a, in mind a star topology. Um, easy to implement, easy to troubleshoot. You know, if one computer goes down, it doesn't affect the whole network. Um, these switches, you know, there'll be some kind of, you know, cheap solution, but, you know, quality-wise. Um, our infrastructure will hopefully be gigabit speeds. Uh, that's what we're moving to. Most of these PCs and stuff that we're buying are coming standard gigabit. Um, our servers will be uh, Dell 710s. We're planning on doing a virtualized at the, at the corporate using some kind of VMware hypervisor software. We're on our Active Directory, a PDC, a Linux type backup solution. Um, we'll also have our inventory and database stored on there. Uh, each one of these will be a replicated server. So any changes that happen here will be changed here and vice versa. So there won't be, you know, you won't have to communicate every time back to corporate. Um, all right, and on the servers, we're also just going to have a DFS system. That way, it's distributed file storage. And what it is is the server here and the server here and the server here, while a file may not be stored specifically on that server, it will view it as if it is stored on that server. So you will have access to all of your data files from any of these locations. Because in, that's one of the major factors is you don't need to use up all of your storage for the same files. Duplicate files is not necessary. Um, our solution, uh, yeah, financial wise, um, our Cisco, we, we decided to go with you know something small office, home office for the time being, um, with yet yeah, you know relatively feasible for what we need. Some uh, Cisco PX 501s, VPNs. You can get up to 50 client access licenses. Um, they can be used as a router, firewall, switch. Uh, they're gigabit. Um, like I said earlier, our Dell 710 servers. Uh, the main one would be the PDC using, you know, Server 2008 uh, <coughs> standard. Uh, individual offices, like I said earlier, will replicate. Um, we'll move our database and we'll, you know, save money by implementing a Linux backup. Each one will backup to their own site 
then they'll all replicate to the corporate where the corporate will actually have somebody there that will take the backup nightly, you know, take it off site, you know, to be secure in case something does happen. Um, our Andrews microwave, like we said, uh, you know, point to point panels with insulation, probably have to get somebody else to come in. You know, it's kind of a hard solution, but uh, we felt right now this would probably be the perfect, you know, for what we need. Uh, Zach? On the 24 port switches, it's not quite the necessary right now, but for standardization purposes and for extension <coughs> purposes, 24 ports gives you plenty of room for any ex any excess things such as network printers or additional routers, switches, PCs, anything you decide to set up at any of your offices. So they're about $300 each. That's going to be $900 total. And our cabling installation and configuration is $4,000. It's pretty rounded and that can includes the infrastructure setup and the IT setup and that includes us purchasing the cabling, all of the parts that we would, we'd need like the RJ45 jacks and connectors. Um, we're going to be doing the good Google email and Google chat for internet communications because it's free, it's relatively secure, and it's a good solution for any kind of small business at this point. So with zero downtime, we don't have to go out and buy licenses in exchange, you know, but as we grow as a company, as y'all grow as a company, we may implement our own email solution, chat, you know, but right now, as long as we can chat amongst each other, it works and send email. Um, any questions, comments?